In a wireless network that's based on an IAP, the instant access point, uh, there is no controller. Uh, sometimes we might want to do a packet capture of the wireless connection here between the client station and the IAP. Uh, so what we do here is we set up a capture that comes from the AP to a desktop running Wireshark. The way we do the packet capture is start Wireshark running on the desktop, one that's uh, got network connectivity to an IAP. Um, and then what, what happens is we start the IAP sending the packet capture information that's encapsulated in UDP port say 5555 to the desktop. What we first have to do is find the radio which the client's associated to that we want to capture. And we do this by doing show AP association. What this will show us is the BSS ID which is the MAC address of the AP and the band that it's using. It's using the G band which is 2.4 gig. So there's our client MAC there that we're interested in and this is the BSS ID that it's associated to. So to start the capture we just do pcap start put the MAC address in of the AP which is the BSS ID that we just noted and then we have to put in the IP address of the machine running Wireshark, the one that's going to receive these captures. So I just put that in there. And the port, we just use 5555 generally. Now, press question mark here will show you the types that you can choose from. I tend to use type 1 because it contains a bit more information than type 0. And uh, for maximum packet size, just do 10,000. Now press that and it starts it off. Now what's happening is that packet capture is going to the machine that has Wireshark running and uh, we also have the capture ID for it which will come in when we go to stop it. Now on Wireshark we want to look at that capture as it comes into the machine but we don't want to see everything that's floating around the network just our capture from the IAP. So we set up a capture filter to filter out everything else and we just want to see UDP port 5555. Now this is a capture filter so nothing else will get saved. So we start that and we see lots of data coming in. Now this is coming from the IP address of the IAP to this desktop here but it's not 802.11 frames yet. It's encapsulated so what we have to do is click on one of them, right click on one of them, decode as peak because that's the format we chose when we started the capture and now when we do that we see lots of 802.11 things here. So I'll stop that and we can have a closer look and if you want to filter it down further to a particular client like the one we were looking at let's say this Apple here uh, find it. we'll just put its MAC address in here go wlan.addr equals equals 7cd1 and now that shows us just the frames pertaining to that client once we've finished capturing we want to stop the capture so we just go back to the console of the IAP and just do pcap stop then we select the BSS ID that we had when we started it and uh, the ID which pcap ID was 2 so we just put 2 and that'll stop it